Charge requirement six. I mean, there's pretty much no way that that was ever going to be worthwhile. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, missiles. No, neither of these characters are good good at missile crafting, from what I remember. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess instead of traveling, let's just fill everything in. Mental resistance level three. Not that that's ever, ever actually mattered. And yeah, I, I don't care. We'll just go back. Ten might be the uh, maximum difficulty anyway. So yeah, I'll just I'll just pass time here. We'll make our money. Uh, fuel and hull restored. That's fine. I just want to run out of these these blueprints. We have so many of them, and they're kind of just inconvenient. All right. Well, skip a day. Tyrant. Oh, that's probably from training. Ooh, hi, charge requirement eight. Never mind. That damage is redonkulous, though. But I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Well, that's okay. It'd be nice if there's like a unique crafting bonus or something like that. That'd be cool. Well, let's see. Do I? Nope. I don't have enough. We gotta go to the hub. It'd be nice if I could get the upgrade that makes it so, um... Let's see. Yeah, Noxious Strike weakens its target. It's just... Oh, charge requirement of 8 is so rough. I'm, I'll keep it around. If I need to sell it, I'll sell it. But it's not actually worth that much more money than anything else. Shame about the mattress's scepter. But yeah, there's, there's no point in using it. Let's get rid of the unyielding phoenix fire. Let's see, venom spike. It's like a all stat down. Wait, hold horse. Hold horse, no. Don't hold horse. Horse is fine where it is. Yeah, the problem is um, 571, 571. Oh. Maybe hold horse. Okay. It's better than the pea shooter. Yeah, not the noxious stinger. It's the venom spike, yeah? Yeah. Not that it matters too much, but it's it's better than it, so we might as well. Okay, and I'm going to just toss her there for the time being. Okay, so you guys are crafting. Ah, we have crazy money. Back to this. Reinforce plating. Anything else I can get? Engine efficiency. I don't know what other research we can get our, our hands on here, but we might as well get a, our hands on all of them. Okay, and let's just skip days. Okay, so we've got an A rank Fairy Rapier. Pierces shields, marks, exposes blinds, weakens its target during Eden's, strengths and fortifies and focuses itself. So Eden is probably um, Cassie's ability. Okay, well, one way or another. That's probably better than this thing. No, 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 no. So this does four, four, fourteen to six, twenty-two. This does a little bit more, but the accuracy and crit are hugely different. The only thing is, marks exposed blinds weaken its target during during Eden. Yeah, that's that's a hard sell. I don't know. I'll keep the fairy rapier around, but I don't think he can do anything about it. All right, uh, let's just keep working. The fact that I have all of these is ridiculous. All right, I uh, can't build the other one. Let's just make a phoenix fire. Who knows? Might actually be better, better than the one we had. And how are we looking on research? Damage all the hull takes by 20%. That's pricey. I'm watching all of my money go down the drain, but if we can... If we can actually max out all of our research, that could be good. Okay. Oh, increases traveling range by a certain amount. You know, probably should have gotten that a long time ago. Oh, well. A little bit late for that now. Okay. Can I make... Can't make the bat. I can't make the star flare. Even if it's, like, garbage and old and bad. Okay, let's keep 
Skipping days. I This feels weird to me. Oh, hey, it's a uh, maxed out deafening foghorn. Problem is, I think it's old and bad. Eat seeping. Seeking goop. Not, not enough. Okay, uh, they're both good at wave, right? Yeah. Honestly, I should probably just go buy some materials. Let's go do that. I'm burning through stuff quick. Luckily, we should have more than enough money for some of these things. Oh, and there goes all my cash. Well, I guess I could buy more, but I'll just sell everything in one go. Hopefully, we'll have enough for everything. Skip. Tank up. Okay, so this is bad. We have reinforced plating, level two. Is that the end of it? I can't imagine there's any any more research down this tree. Yep, okay, that's that's that. Do missile and missile and nobody's good at missiles. Yeah, that one guy was good at missiles, but I got rid of him because we didn't have enough space. Realistically, I probably should have gotten rid of uh, I should have gotten rid of Buffy, but whoops. Okay, so she's good at lasers. Black hole. I, I feel like some of these are just like appearing out of the ether at me. And it makes me feel kind of like crazy. Like how many gun? Oh, wait, no, we're almost done. Oh, that's good. Because I've been trying to clear this, this backlog for ages. And it uh, has not been easy. Engine efficiency level five. Don't have enough money. Oh yeah. Let's go sell some stuff if we're doing research. There's got a lot of guns that I can sell. Some of them probably are complete garbage. Most of them, really. But it stacks up quick. Yeah, it's a level 8 deafening foghorn. Even if I wanted to keep it, there's no real point. Uh, let's sell the ferocious pea shooter. I'm going to keep... This one. Uh, let's see. I wish I could... Ah. There's no way that I can properly organize this. Let's see. And even if this one's good, it costs too much to use. That'd be a damn good missile, though. Alright, sell this one. Still have this, but it's old and bad. And I'm going to keep this one around. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go back. Wow, I'm up to 415,000. I did not think I had that much uh, cash wrapped up in equipment, but I guess we did. All right. Well, works great for me. Anything else I'm wasting time on? I guess unless I wanted to do some training here. Oh, yeah. We should probably actually... Seeing as we're maxing out skills here. Uh, let's do steady hands. The other one's not so useful. Okay, and last one. Pyromonium. Throw it on her. Throw this on her. Okay, anything else I need to do? Not really. I guess we could take Sai Tamago off and boost up his things. Probably should have been doing that this entire time. Whoops. Well, maximum efficiency, Grand Architect. Ooh! Maxed out Pyromonium. That might not be a bad missile to get my hands on. Especially if we get a generator upgrade past this point. Okay, so we're working on engine power. Surprise attack. When encountering enemies, additional 10% chance of triggering a surprise attack, gaining four extra charges as a result. Yes. Any other research along the way here? I really wish new research was actually queued up at the front. That'd be nice. Well, we're out of blueprints, so let's uh, let's go to the hub. And let's continue on to the next area. I'm mad rich, and I don't know what kind of good stuff we can get. So this is the galaxy where Eclipse hides their headquarters. Well, we got here, but now what? How are we going to get G to GG without getting ourselves surrounded and captured? 
I told you I had a plan. Any minute now. Oh, there we go. We got to do uh, transmission from Root. Chart a course for these coordinates. Root, what are they doing here? We needed help, so I called in the cavalry. I sent Motoko the location of the eclipse space earlier, and she said she'd rendezvous with us here. So hurry up. Let's go. Is this a root base? It's packed here. Cassie, Faye, you're a sight for sore eyes. Salutations, Major. Motoko, what's Root doing here? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. It's still pretty chaotic, though, ever since Faye surprised us with that message. This is the best I could summon up with the little time you gave me, but this will have to do. Still, it's pretty impressive how many edibles you managed to gather together in such a short time. We had already been preparing for this moment ever since we found out about Gigi's capture. Your message with the coordinates just brought the clock forward. Wait, what's happening, Faye? Motoko? Come on, Cassie. We'll brief you on the plan, and we can get ready for the assault. So we're going after the outpost? Looks like it. We sneak into the outpost while Motoko leads up a group attack to Eclipse head on and distract them. We blow up the generator that'll de activate the invisibility shield around the Eclipse HQ. Then we can infiltrate the airspace around the base itself. Blowing stuff up, sneaking around, that sounds right up my alley. All right, Gigi, we're coming for you. Hang in there, old man. Okay, the final siege. Oh, that is a cool logo. Definitely the best. This especially looks super nice. Okay, so before we do anything, uh, let's get over here. What can we buy? So we can we can get a bunch of level 10 things if we want to. So goodbye level 8 Pyromonium. You were cool, but I have no use for you. Uh, goodbye... A level gene beam as well. Forgot I even had that. All right. Uh, what upgrades can we get? Seeing as where this is the last one. Yeah. So we don't really care about the research lab at this point. Not as much as some of the other things. Actually, it looks like we've already kind of maxed out our upgrades. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll just buy research lab level eight. I was expecting a little bit more from the end of the game, but I guess here we are. Well, can I buy like literally every gun in the game? Because that's kind of tempting. To just sit around and build shit for a while. Some I don't even recognize, like Le Grand Nuke. Very expensive though. Not really my style. Matron Tectonic Tickler. Like some of these I've never even heard of before. There's the Phoenix Fire. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh what else do we want? Star Flare, Arc Charger. Some of these are also pretty char uh, cheap too, which is nice. Hyper Beam. Yeah, so they've they've snuck some old uh, some some ones that I've never seen before in here. So there's also the Arnold. I don't think I'd use it though, even if I wanted to, um, just because it's so expensive to use along the way. Okay. Ah, uh, seriously, where's the where's the Gene Beam? Gene Beam. What was the last gun that I had? Let's go take a look at this. Oh, Rallying Cry. Yeah, let's see if I can get a better Rallying Cry. Is it this one? Yeah, there we are. Okay, so let's do... Let's do resources. He's going to take a little while to build. Okay, uh, so let's go back to the ship. Let's take a look around for a second. Uh, let's try traveling. So we can go anywhere we want. We can go there. Everything is level 10, it looks like. Okay, so we should probably queue up some builds. Um... Start with the rallying cry. I'm gonna probably explore here a little bit just so we can have enough to fund our crazy war effort. So we can't find any better guns than the ones we already have. Uh, which is actually super useful. Uh, let's go back to the hub for a second. I just realized we're still kind of low on a couple of these resources. We might as well max them out. 
Uh, let's see. You. There goes most of my money. Oh, that's fine. And yeah, I didn't have anything to sell. Right, right. Okay, so we go back to the ship. We don't get any more charge. So our build's pretty much perfect. I'm not going to be able to replace this one, probably. But it's also a uh, S-ranked level 10. Yeah, it's worth keeping around. Okay, so where can we go? Oh yeah, the last thing we wanted to check. Back to the ship. These guys are already researching. Okay. Yeah, so let's... Any of these, like, hostile? I don't actually remember if there's a difference between hostile and not. Ooh, underwater. Let's check that out. That sounds fun. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to be beating this game tonight. You guys have no idea how much of a relief that is for me. Uh, I... I'm so, like, swamped for games. And... I desperately need to, you know... Get some things finished. Okay, so they're still researching. We got 31 days left, so I, I I, pretty much can do whatever I want. Yeah! Let's go kick some ass. Oh, this does not look nearly as underwater as I thought it was going to be. Whirlpool lowers the attack of all weapons in the area. Ah, that's fine. Oops. I was hoping I'd be able to get a... Uh, one more generator upgrade just to give me a little bit more space, but that's fine. So we get 13 power per day. So I could afford, like... Is it 13? It's 13 or 14. I pretty much could afford, like, maybe one power. If I really wanted to. But honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. As far as, uh, weapon charge goes. So I don't think I want to settle for any more than this. We might actually kill this guy, now that I'm looking at it. Like, we might kill him before we, uh... Before we manage to take this gun out. I guess I'll only fire the guns that won't kill him. Actually, there's no way we can kill him right now. Probably. Oh, no. He's dead. Whoops! Did not mean to murder him. But, we did, and we get a star flare, and eh, whatever. It's not like money is really much of an object at this point. We've bought all the upgrades, so there's no reason to save anything. Okay, martial arts manual. Nah, don't need it. We didn't even have enough money that I could afford it, so it doesn't matter. That was an expensive thing I'm gonna do. All right, uh, Spear of Jupiter, this. Nah, let's go for this. I don't actually know what's more efficient, using the missile or using the uh, Venom Spike. Gotta say, I like the Venom Spike. I guess the only reason why you'd use anything other than the Venom Spike, though, is... Or, we go to the other gun, is the other gun pierces shields and does more damage. It's, uh, but accuracy. I hate missing. Yay, yeah, beating the game, then post-game. I don't know if this game has much of a post-game. It might do, like, New Game Plus, but I highly doubt it. But, no, I... Uh, like I've been whining about this kind of entire session, uh, and past couple days and multiple things, I am so swamped with games that it's just like, getting a game, like, done done permanently is super nice for me, because I can effectively just edit it all and never think about it again. And just be happy, because I like beating games. And it always makes me sad when I have to drop a game, because, uh, because I don't have enough, um, you know, time to finish it. Okay. I've got a couple other, like, kind of small indie games that I need to maybe look into covering. <laughs> One of them is actually a really nice looking, like, uh, traditional JRPG. Uh, called, like, Shadows of Adam or whatever. Like, it looks nice. It looks like a classic Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or whatever. Uh, and, like, I really like the style. It's just the idea of any kind of RPG at this point is like... <laughs> I might just do an episode... Uh, just to see if people are interested. And if they are, then I'll keep up with it. But if they're not, then I just ignore it and go off and do other things. That also works. Problem is it would require an intense amount of reading, which Shell would probably be down for, but maybe not for the rest of the gameplay. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, it's Ship A's... Ship A again. I do like Ship A, though. It always comes bearing cool, cool weapons. If I could actually get another ornate fairy rapier... Um, 
with the, uh, that I can actually make, like, a S class, that'd be super nice. Unfortunately, unlikely, but that's okay. It would also make sense if I had actually uh, keyed it in for, um, if we'd actually gone Cassie's route. I actually really wish I could have done both, but it's too late now, and honestly, I barely even, I, I never use Cassie as a ship captain anyway. She's too assault related, and I'm much more of a defensive tanky healer kind of guy. I've always been that way. Paladins are like my ideal class in, in games. Like. If you ever played World of Warcraft, the the Paladin class itself is like it's perfect, and Druids to lesser degree. But yeah, give me give me a class that can take the hits and heal itself, and I'm fine with slowly murdering my foes. I guess we might as well just hit the shoot all button. There he goes. Wow, we do a lot of damage, and we get a Magistrus Scepter. Not really what I'm looking for, but nah. Okay. Blast the asteroid. We get a bunch of antimatter, which really isn't that useful. Okay, let's see if any of our, our gun creations were good. And yeah, we got 67,000 starch from that. Uh, it's not good. Ow. Okay, uh, so let's do... Let's focus on the one of uh, the guns that we need first. I guess I might as well have him working working on the waves while she works on the other stuff. Okay, there we go. Paladins, just because you can use bubble and teleport to Stormwind? Hell yeah! Dude, my bubble hearths were the best. I actually didn't bubble hearth nearly as much as, like, I probably should have before they took that away. Those were good times, though. At least I think they took away bubble hearthing. <laughs> it was fun stuff. I was usually on the receiving end of a, of a bubble hearth. I actually kind of miss some of those old, like, weird abuses. What is this thing? Oh, it's like Le Grand Nuke. That looks like a fun missile. I'll shoot it. I'll save it for last. I kind of want to see what it looks like. But... It... I, I like what they've done with WoW to, like, make things, like, a little bit simpler and easier accessible and stuff like that. But at the same time, like, it really is missing some of that, like, kind of dynamic charm. Well, not dynamic charm. It's just every once in a while, you know, a class would just have a cool, weird ability that nobody else had access to, and that was always just kind of the most fun thing. Oh well. Okay. Well, combat's easy. Means we're probably gonna have a relatively easy final battle. I'm prepping a little bit here, because I, I don't want to get my ass kicked. What I'm probably going to do is just gather some resources and, you know, just get my money back up to a reasonable level. Um, Just get my money up to, like, jeez, I don't even know what uh, specifically, but, you know, enough. And then, uh, then we're probably just going to go back to the station and sit there crafting for a while. Because the alternative is grinding for... I mean, honestly, these battles go much faster now that I've got the perfect setup. Whoops. Forgot to shoot a gun there. Not that it really matters. Uh, but yeah, these battles go relatively fast. So it's kind of one of those where I can kind of take a more cavalier approach. And it goes, it goes so fast that it's like, it's not a bad idea. For me to do do every fight, plus it gives us a chance of getting some of the like really good guns. But at the same time, meh. I will say I might switch planets though. Um, the whirlpool is kind of inconvenient. I'd actually rather have something that hurts both ships, considering I can tank the hits. Because we heal constantly. I'd like to see a Legend of Dagoon remaster. Yes! Though, honestly, if they do a uh, Legend of Dagoon remaster, I really, really hope um, 
they actually don't change the combat at all. The combat was so good that r them remastering it seems like kind of a travesty. Um, let me think. What other what other games would I like remastered? I I'd actually really enjoyed if they uh if they just ran StarCraft One through StarCraft Two's engine. Like it doesn't even need to be any better better than StarCraft Two. It just needs to be. Uh, actually, uh, same for this sucker. Not that it really makes much of a difference. Yeah, what old game would really deserve a remaster? Final Fantasy VII, but they're already doing that, and Final Fantasy XII. I, I got to give them credit for that. The uh, I'm looking forward to both of those, because those those were the Final Fantasy games I got into the most. I guess except for X, but they the HD is fine. Um, I'm trying to think of like other good old games that desperately need a remaster. I'd love for them to make a uh, Dragon Quest Monsters, like a good one. But... Or not a not a good one. Uh, a new Dragon Quest Monsters. Or remaster one of the old ones. Like, I'm not picky. As long as they actually release it to the US. Like, that'd be really nice. What else would there be? The problem is, like, for a lot of old games, I guess really, I grew up with a lot of games that don't really need remastering, you know, Commander Keen, Mega Man X, stuff like that. They don't really need need a remaster. Ooh. Dungeon, Ma Dungeon, uh, Dungeon Master 2 would be great. Or Dun Dungeon Keeper 2. You mean. Not Dungeon Master 2. Sorry, I'm getting my wires crossed again. Should look at 20XX. It's a great roguelike game. Yeah, I, uh... I I actually the devs sent me uh, an email a couple days ago and I need to respond to them, being like, "Yes, I will. I will very gladly play your game. It's just it's also something I'd probably play alone unless I can get Bird on board for it." Yeah, we're just getting low tier results here. Oh, I know. I know what we can do. To maybe get this working. Okay, so he's good at wave crafting, she's good at laser crafting. Not as much as they could have been. Um let's travel. Dungeon Master 2. I've never heard of Dungeon Master 2. But yeah, I really would like a, a dungeon keeper game that feels good. Uh oh shoot, what was that? It was a really good uh dungeon keeper game, but it did it looked awful. Oh, hey, there's our Mastercrafted Gene Beam. Oh. 600 to 600, though. Why is this one better? Oh, less HP. I'd almost rather have that. And no luck with any of these rallying cries. Well, not necessarily. If I put her on this, will the charge requirement go down? It'd be really nice if it would tell me. Yeah, the damage differential is so worth it, though. Okay. Yeah, let's just hang out and make guns for a little while, and if they don't turn out well, they don't turn out well. Well, let's do both Phoenix Fires, because if I can actually get them... If I can get good Phoenix Fires, that's probably for the best. Okay, do we have any other things? Traveling range. Surprise attack. And yeah, I don't have anything else there. Okay, let's go to the hub for a second. I got some things I can sell. Okay, we definitely don't need Tempered Phoenix Fire. Or the Blessed Phoenix Fire. Unfortunately, these are probably going to get a little bit on the expensive side. Well, it'll be fine. Okay, and let's sell the old Gene Beam. 
Okay, last thing to check. Any of these spuds here any good? No, I, I'm actually really surprised at how few spuds there were. Or are? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so I don't care too much about second wind. Don't care too much. Let's have side to Mago do at least a little bit. Let's do attack for waves. The more healing we get, the better. Okay, so they're both bad. And I don't have any others right now, do I? No. Any of these any good? Nope. Pretty much. At this point, we just need uh, Phoenix Flares. Because I think that's the only gun that I can replace right now. Uh, actually, no. We need we need Rallying Cries. Rallying Cries and... Where is it again? Rallying Cries and Phoenix Flares. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's got the same silhouette as the other one. Which is super confusing. Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I've got enough resources. Let's travel for a second. I can go wherever I want. I think all of these are going to be about the same difficulty. Yeah? Yeah, looks like it. So we're going to travel over here. And then we're going to just pass the time. And if we don't get anything good, I can just reload. Maybe. I don't know. I forgot to make anything. Well, I'm a dummy. Okay, uh, these are the new ones. So you'll be on waves. No, you'll be on waves. You'll be on missiles. Okay, uh, let's get... Revved up and ready to go. So we got... Ow. Wave research. Okay. Anything else? No, we're actually almost done with research. Okay, Phoenix Fire. Yeah, she's the wave crest master and he's rallying cry. Okay. Yeah, I can always go back and do things. We just need some S rank. If we don't get any, I'm just gonna reload. Cause the alternative is Oh, crap. I'm out of resources. Well, considering we haven't gotten anything anyway, let's reload to the latest hub visit. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna cheese this as hard as I can. Okay, so let's go to the hub visit and let's buy a bunch of antimatter, apparently. Okay. Unfortunately, it'd be nice if I could almost cheese this as well. So I don't have to go through this process every single time. But it's okay. At least we get a fair amount of money every single time we do this. Uh, so I don't want to sell any of these. And we could make more. I guess I could always have uh, my spare characters making guns even if they're not good. Oh yeah, we could totally do that. Just for pure spare money. We'll do that later. Um... Do that for a second, actually. Considering I have so much cash, we need to go buy those blueprints again. 